Are you thinking of entering the silver class of Romaniacs? Or interested in an enduro tour that rides this type of terrain? Even the gold riders get to ride a lot of relatively easy sections at Romaniacs, and the silver class is no exception. So let's look at a typical silver hill climb and discuss some of the techniques you will need and other important factors when entering Romaniacs. Remember, the climbs can be tougher than this, and this particular climb is much harder when it rains or you are fighting fatigue on your last two days. Unfortunately, some riders overestimate their abilities when entering silver class and either time out or pull out due to exhaustion, injury or a badly damaged bike. Consider doing an enduro tour first. It is far cheaper than entering the race and you can assess your abilities and familiarise yourself with the terrain. So much of the event is about climbs and descents, so work hard on this. Unless it's very wet and muddy, you will be surprised at the amount of grip you can achieve on these climbs. As long as you can slip the clutch well, keep that rear wheel weighted, and know how to leg paddle both standing and sitting. Pivot turns are a very useful skill in the technical section. Learn how to do these both standing and sitting on the bike, and even when off the bike. Learn how to pace yourself and conserve energy. Sit when you can and leg paddle through the hard stuff. Find the pace needed to last four days and stick to it. If you are stuck, learn how to make the bike do most of the work to get out of trouble. Lifting or pushing the bike is always a last resort. Often, there is a relatively easy day and the riders often speed through the day using up precious energy reserves only to collapse the next day when it gets tough again. Most silver class riders enter the prologue to get a good starting position. This requires a pile of techniques including log hops, rock gardens, riding over tyres and jumps. Almost all of the best hard enduro riders are former A grade trials riders so it could be useful to grab a trials bike, learn the skills and transfer them to your dirt bike. Riding technique is important but don't neglect physical fitness. Ride as much as you can for as long as you can. Gym work and cardio exercises can be a handy addition, but should never be a substitute for riding fitness. Get yourself to the point of exhaustion and then learn how to push through the pain and exhaustion. Many veterans of silver class stress the need to avoid stopping if possible, as you start to seize up and think about quitting. Pace yourself in difficult sections. And remember, there is always an easy section ahead where you can relax while riding, get your breath back and let your muscles recover. This leads into mental toughness. The ability to keep going no matter how exhausted you get. It's maintaining that positive, can-do attitude despite injuries, nasty crashes, a damaged bike or being stuck halfway up a tough hill. When training, Try to push yourself regularly to your physical and mental limits and work on your ability to push through. One of the silver class riders we supported even said he found the mental game to be 50% of whether you can finish or not. Sometimes crashes can disrupt your plans so badly that it can ruin your mental game for the rest of the event. One of the riders we supported had a bad crash right at the start of the prologue which left him with major bruising and twisted handlebars. But he still pushed through the prologue. Instead of starting the next day feeling sorry for himself and despondent, he got his race face back on and soldiered through a demanding four days and finished the event. Good on you, Adam. Big respect, mate. This is just a quick overview of Silver Class, and we'll cover all of this in more detail in coming vids. If you'd like to know more, Follow us and hopefully one day we'll see you in Romania.